All right, guys, let's do a catch wrestling move. One of my favorite catch wrestling moves there is. It's a, it's a rib crush spine crank. I hope, yoga did, or I hope yoga did his judo today. I mean, Niha did his yoga today. <laughs> I'm going to, this is a move that if you do it on your training partners, they will feel violent and like, like you have done something to them that they cannot forgive you for because it's so oppressive, okay? So this is gonna be done from turtle. So when your opponent turtles here, can you put your head facing to the right? Yeah. So there's hooks in turtle, right? You try and throw your hooks in and you take someone's back. But there's a way, there's something that I would call a reverse hook, all right? And that's where instead of going from the hip down in between his legs, I go from in between his legs and up to his hip. So let's say I'm attacking Miha's back and he kind of leans forward and gives me space here where I can hook the ankle like this, all right? I hook the ankle and normally you would use this ankle hook to expose the ability to like get your second hook, right? That's what hooking the ankle does. But for this move, I open the ankle here and I bring my leg up in front of his thigh. See how this is a reverse hook? and I figure four here. Now when I figure four from this position, I'm going to break his knees away from his chest by driving forward like this. And this figure four, as you can see, is locking his knee down in a way that if I put my hips into his hips, it's going to flatten him out here like this. See this control? Now if I only had lower body control, he could turn towards me, kind of. It wouldn't be the end of the world because I can just get my hooks and then I can be a, you know, a ninja master, take his back, whatever. But that's not the full move. The full move is also to incorporate a power half onto the opposite arm. So as I'm setting this up, I'm here, I'm opening up the knee, leaning forward until I can get the ankle, and then I'm setting up the power half on this side. More, more. So I have the ankle, set up the power half, lean forward, do my reverse hook. Once I get my reverse hook, I'm switching my grip so I'm pulling at the shoulder and flattening him out. Here. You feel the pressure here, Miha? Miha, try and get up to your knees from this position. Mm. You, can, you can literally not get up to your knees from here. They're completely pinned. They're just pinned. Look, this is what they do. They post here. And when they post, you're hitting them with this. That's a catch wrestling move. It's really uncomfortable. It like, are you okay, Mia? This is an emotionally huh? traumatizing move. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? So, this can be done in a few different ways. One, the, the ankle grab is one way, with your, you use your own ankle to grab it. Another way is like when you're dealing with someone's turtle, grabbing the top of their foot and like opening up their leg like this, all right? But I would do it from this side. So I'd be here, I would grab this leg and open up the leg, step my knee through, and then turn my ankle and drop his knee over my reverse hook. I figure four, get my power half, and break him down. And I'm holding here, putting forward pressure and like putting the spine lock on and the rib crush is already uncomfortable. And when he tries to post his hand to get up, hooking, pressure. And I'm not going, you could go full on cruci right here, crucifix. <laughs> Hit him with the cruci. But you don't have to, you can just con control here because he can't turn into me and he can't turn away from me. He's just totally pinned. And then you just sit up and you can hit him with the, the pec blaster. Pec blaster is getting applied right now. And then if you just drive more, it's the rib crusher and just start separating all of these tendons. It's a pretty good stretch. I did some bench press yesterday. It actually still feels good, but uh, yep. not for long. And then of course, if you want to just let go, you can go right to side control. So it's a good way to go from turtle to side control as well. So that's your day, your weekly nogi 
catch wrestling kill secret. I think that's some exotic violence right there. Yeah, that's exotic. So I actually had to stop doing that because I did it to this guy, Pete O'Neill, all the time, back at my old gym, and he eventually stopped rolling with me and actually stopped talking to me. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to make sure to never miss the latest jujitsu technique uploads from this channel, hit the subscribe button, and there's also a notification bell that you can ring to make sure that you get all the notifications for everything that we do here on the channel. And bonus round, there's a text number that you can text. Go ahead and just text the word Keenan to this number and you'll get the grappling handbook which is a guide I'm putting together to teach you how to get the most out of your training. It'll include flow charts and technique illustrations and all sorts of little tips and tricks that'll help you get more out of your time on the mat and it's information that you probably won't be able to get through just a YouTube video. It's a little more involved I would say.